This is Kevin Freeman in the Economic War Room with a two-minute warning. Many Americans saw Joe Biden in front of the Independence Hall where the Constitution was signed. It was weird. It was dark. It had red lighting. There have been comparisons made to Hitler giving a speech. Keep in mind everything is staged by the White House. There's no detail ignored. They had a clear message to send, and they sent it. And the message is that there is a color revolution underway. Generally, such revolutions are against a party in power. But here, the revolution is against the Constitution itself. The Constitution is the ruling document of America. And in his speech, President Biden marginalized people. Now, that reminds me of the 1830s with the Trail of Tears, where Native Americans, my forebears, were deemed less than human. So they could take them off their land and shove them into a reservation in Oklahoma. Now they're marginalizing MAGA Republicans. You know, the 74 million who voted for Trump. My family is celebrating Cherokee National Holiday on September 6th, 1839. That's when we signed the Constitution in Oklahoma. But 74 million people declared less than human? Now, Biden tried to walk it back, but the signal is out. You know, he's created 87,000 new IRS agents, given them $5 million in new ammunition. He's given a direct threat to use F-15 fighter aircraft against anyone who opposes his agenda. That violates the Posse Comitas Act, but it also reminds me of the Trail of Tears. Now, I've got a new book out. It's called According to Plan, and it's available now. You can get it at Amazon or direct from us at accordingtoplanbook.com. You can get copies. Please share them with other people to wake them up. This is our time to spread the word. We must stop this color revolution. And the best way to do it is to educate the American people. Remember, what we see as a marketplace, our enemies view as a battle space. That's never been truer than it is today. This is Kevin Freeman from the Economic War Room.